What's going on everyone? It's Dylan here, Walnut Ridge Family RV Sales. Welcome to Dylan's RV Wheel Estate. This is episode one and we're standing in the brand new 2024 Brinkley 3100 Model Z. This thing is awesome. Coming in at just shy of 12,300 pounds dry weight and 36 foot 1 inches in length and that's from tip to tip. So while we're taking a look at that, let's look at the inside real fast. The beautiful decor all the way around. You have, I mean, the finishes all the way across. There's no putty marks, no staple marks. It's a real modernized look to it. Even up on the roof, I mean, take a look at that. All the seams are real nice and crisp, even right where the sidewall meets the roof part. A lot of people will put that gimp molding up there. They exposed it and it looks really, really clean. On the back side here, let's start out back here. You have nice big open windows. All four of these are going to open up. You have daytime shades as well as nighttime shades, but even if you don't want any shades, they're magnetized and you can open it up and just have the raw daylight. This folds out into a bed, so that's going to sleep too. And then you also have hidden storage on both sides. Let's pop these up here. So you can put your TV, you know, your TV remotes. You can put some other stuff in there like books and colorings and stuff like that. Or behind it, you also have 110 outlets as well as USB ports even the newer USB ports for those iPhone users. So, you know, they've kind of thought of everything to kind of put it into this and really change the RV industry. Over here, you have a big beautiful, you know, area here for more prep space where you can put books and shelves and stuff like that. They have updated it to where this window opens up so you can get that cross breeze effect. Up here, more storage. They are soft shut cabinet doors. And then down below, you do have a fireplace. Now, Cool thing about this, like to watch some TV. TV is going to come up and out of it. Okay, so you have a 50 inch TV here. Take a look at that. You have a lot of viewing area. Then you come across over through here. You have the big microwave here, the bigger three burner stove top, as well as the oven from Purion. Now, a couple of things here. Pull out drawers so you have two trash cans here and then on top you have a little paper towel holder if you need to you can put it up here you can put it down in here it's readily accessible for you. All your cabinets throughout here tons of drawer spaces and they're all solid wood they're none of that pressed wood or anything like that so they are solid to go. Right over through here though you do have a spice rack for all those cooking utensils you can put everything in here all the different spices and it's right next to where you're cooking at. Again, lots of storage all the way throughout this camper. And then you have the big 12 volt refrigerator. Right through here, you're gonna have adjustable shelves for your pantry. You have an outlet in here, so you can put your coffee maker in there if you'd like to, your little espresso machine. And then as well as an access port down below to be able to get to that water heater um, as far as like your, you know, if you need to do any maintenance or anything like that, really accessible to be able to pop that off and get down in there. I call this the coffee bar nook area. So you have more storage up above, more storage down below. And it's just a really good finish all the way throughout. Here's the table and chairs. Now, you have a booth style on this side, right? And then you have the beautiful chairs on this side. They're really comfortable too. You also have this little pull out here. That's gonna be your, your uh, silverware. You can put pencils, paper, pens, all that stuff. Another thing, if you like to work from home, this is removable as well as it's got storage down below. You can put it over there back there by the couch and you can also work from it at home if you want to call it that way and you can put your computer up there. You have your recliners, those are your heat and massage recliners, as well as a charging port for your phone and then up underneath you do have USB ports down there. That's enough about the back here. Let's take a look up front. Come on up this way. As you take a look at the beautiful bathroom there, you have a full walk-in shower. Take a look at that shower head there. You can hit your body from all sorts of different angles. Up top, in the middle, you can take it off, you can hose your feet down, all that. And the cabinet over there is going to be where your on-demand hot water heater is. That's your tankless hot water heater. And then as well as you have the foot flush toilet that is a porcelain toilet. And then the big vanity come into the front side of it of the 3100 you have a king bed you have storage that's up underneath 
You have reading lights throughout. You also have windows on each side. They do have the nighttime shade, so if you don't want any sunlight coming in while you're taking a snooze, perfect way to get through that. Big walk-through closet here for all your hanging utensils. You have little shoe, I call them the shoe hooks right there. Um, and then you have a light to be able to, to hit that so you can see everything. You have washer and dryer prep in this, or you can use it for more storage. As well as on the sides, if you do have a washer and dryer, you can put all of your utensils right there if you need to. It comes with a TV here in the bedroom, as well as a dresser that even has hidden storage, or you could use it as another you know, style for working, put your computer up here, that way you're working from home or on the road. That's enough about the inside. Let's go take a look at the outside. Woo, we're on the outside here. The sun is bright. It's beautiful. Take a look at the beautiful Brinkley 3100. I've got the awnings out. You have LED lights up underneath. The frameless windows. The nice crisp finish on them. Then you also have the large pass-through storage right here. Right underneath your main entryway. Um, you've got a couple of hookups here. So you have hot and cold shower over here. You have parts for your, your uh, radio, so you can hook it up Bluetooth-wise. There's a speaker that's up underneath. And then you also have your awning lights, interior lights. Through here, you have access port to be able to get to all your hoses. If you have any connections or if you have any issues for maintenance or anything like that, you can easily access that, and it slides shut to give you that crisp, clean look. As you come through the outside, you have the newer style solid step entryway that the steps can even hold up so you can clean them off if you need to. I know a lot of people are tired of being able to throw them up in there and dirt goes flying everywhere. With the shower right here, you'd be able to clean off those steps. That's what I'm talking about. Also, LP Quick Connect up underneath. This is an outside kitchen prep. So you can put your little griddle out here. You have a spot here for your LPs um, as well, like I said, the outside shower. Let's take a look at this on the outside here. What you're gonna notice on Brinkley is on their exterior, it's real crisp and clean. There's not a lot of caulking or anything like that. It's all hidden. They use an alpha membrane system on the roof, as well as an alpha system on the side to really keep it nice and clean. On the back side here, you have your ladder that goes up to your fully walkable roof. Camera comes standard on there, so you have a backup camera. More storage up underneath here. And that is heated and cooled, so if you have something in there that you want to keep out of the elements, trust me, it's going to be protected in there. Down on the bottom, you do have a tow hitch back here. There's a 300-pound accessory hitch or 3,000-pound towing. So if you're going to put a small trailer back here, tow a boat or something like that, you have that option. Beautiful side on what I call the, uh, the driver's side anyway. You have the good looking wheels. They're 17 and a half inch wheels with Cooper tires on there, US made. You have the on demand hot water heater right here from Purion. And then on this side, here's your wet, wet bath, wet bay, that type area. You have a pull hose through here, it's 30 feet. You have an outside shower. All of your abilities to be able to access that. You have electric dump valves. That's amazing on there. So you no more pull handles or anything like that. And on top of that, they get they put a clear piece on here so you can make sure all of your, your nastiness is out of there and it's cleaned up because you don't want that stuff just hanging out in there when you go to turn that off and it gets all over your, your hands or anything. I mean, I don't know about you, but I like my hands to be nice and clean. <laughs> you have your 30 pound LP tanks on each side. They also have it prepped for a 40 pound tank and you can go down to a 20 pound tank if you need to without changing anything. You're going to notice there's little lights up underneath here, so I know it's daytime out right now, but nighttime, you're not hitting your head on the slide box. You also have a light right up above so you can see where everything's at, and you have a nice, beautiful viewing whenever it's dark outside. The big fiberglass front cap, instead of LED strips, they hide the LED lights up underneath here, give it that crisp, clean look. You have the Rhino box, pin box. And then in here is where all your solar connection is going to be at. There's a 370 watt solar panel up top. You also have a 50 amp charge controller. That's going to trickle charge your batteries. So that way you can run your 12 volt refrigerator. You can open your slides in and out and turn your lights on if you're not hooked up to shore power. Also, it's generator prepped. And then right up underneath, you also have an inverter prep. So if you want to put a 3000 watt inverter, you'll be able to run the microwave off of just the solar and the batteries. Four-point auto level system. 
I don't know about you, this one's changing the industry. Brinkley, you guys got to come check this out. Let us know if you have any questions. Please feel free to email us, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for hanging out at Dylan's RV Wheel Estate.